Good day, Libra, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Three of clubs. Eight of Hearts, King of Clubs, and the Five of Clubs. Okay, so your general energy for the week is the Five of Clubs, uh, broadening your horizon. Yeah, so now is a good time to have a open mind uh, and, you know, just leave your communications open with people and what they have to say. Um, because by doing so, by going through that negativity, you know, like maybe you looked at something a certain way all your life and now all of a sudden there's this idea of something else, you know, that maybe you were wrong or maybe you just didn't see it, you know, the right way or whatever, whatever it may be. It's a different way of thinking. And by that, that would be a negative, you know, process because here you are, uh, you know, you live this, this whole time like this. And now here you find out that there's a better way or there's a different way. And that's kind of negative because now you got to, you know, change how you thought and, uh, whatnot uh but by doing so it's going to bring on positive adventure and change into your life okay uh so just broaden your horizon right uh keep an open mind about things uh do different things you know uh this isn't about comfort zone really this is more about just uh learning i think learning and growing and evolving uh by broadening your horizon uh but yeah it's going to lead to positive adventure and change at the beginning of the week you've got the three of clubs which is wonderful because the three of clubs is the trump card uh this card trumps all the cards regardless of you know if they're bad or not this card trumps it and guarantees uh fame fortune absolute success uh now when i come to fame right what is fame are you going to win a Grammy? Well, that depends. Are you up for a Grammy? If you're not up for a Grammy, then most likely it is not going to lead you to a Grammy. My camera's kind of messed up here. Uh, so anyway, um, what that means is just people are going to idolize you. They're going to look up to you. They're going to see you uh, as if you were a rock star or a movie star or something like that, right? doesn't mean that you are, but people are just going to idolize you around you, you know? Uh, fortune, what does that mean? Does that mean that you're going to win millions? Not necessarily, and most likely not. Uh, it just means you're going to be fortunate. You know, you're going to be uh, well off when it comes to financial uh, abundance this, this week, and you, but you might I also get uh, some financial abundance this week, you know, that's included with absolute su success. So uh, you might see an increase. Uh, but for the most part, it just means that you're going to be stable, you know, for the week. Uh, in the middle of the week, you got the eight of hearts. Uh, don't hold on. Yeah, so you're holding on to something and you need to let go of it. Um, whatever it is, is stopping you from moving on, stopping you from moving forward. And, you know, I can't help but to think that this is about the broadening your horizon. I feel like uh, a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you, I think it has to do with uh, a thought process. I think that you're holding on to a thought process and you're refusing to leave that thought process because it's what you've thought for so long. And that's going to be painful for, for you to realize that the thought process you've been living on uh, hasn't worked for you or just wasn't right or whatever. And now you're having to broaden your horizon. Like, uh, I feel like usually, you know, this is a uh, uh, self thing, like you giving into this uh, new idea or whatever by broadening your horizon. But I feel like this is almost going to be pushed. I think that you can't deny it. It's in your face. Uh, that's how I feel that this is in your face. And it's good, though. 
It's good. Yes, go through that negativity. Go through that pain uh, of realizing that something that you thought uh, maybe not have been correct. Uh, and by doing so, that's going to help you move on, help you move forward and bring on new adventure and change into your life. Uh, this is a good thing. I mean, yes, it's going to be painful. Yes, it's going to be negative in some sort of way. Um, now, not for all of you, not for all of you, it is a thought process. Some of it uh, might just be doing something different or letting go of, of uh, something or someone uh, that you've been holding on to, that you've been holding. It could be even a job that you're holding on to. Uh, but for a lot of you, uh, just with these two cards coming up together, uh, I feel like it is some kind of thought process, something that you're thinking, a way of thinking, and it's been holding you back. And now you're realizing that it was holding you back, but it's kind of negative and painful to you know, go against that. And that's what you're holding on to is that thought. Uh, but the moment you let go and you let this new thought process come in, it's going to be really good for you. All right. At the end of the week, you have the king of clubs, the king of men. Now, it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman, too. It's just somebody that has a fatherly uh, way to them, right? Uh, they're loyal. They're selfless. They lead you in the right direction. They give it to you straight. You know, they don't beat around the bush. You know, they're very upfront. Uh, but you always know they're going to be give you the right advice. And I feel like... Either this person is the one that's going to enlighten you and broaden, help you broaden your horizon, or this is somebody for you to go to talk to about this new thing that has come to your mind, this new thing that has been presented to you and the thing that you're holding on to and, and talk to the person that's, you know, most fatherly to you. And I feel like that person is going to help you get through this. Um, Let's go ahead and now remember that ain't for everybody. This fatherly figure could just be somebody that's coming in uh, to help you with something else. You know, well, no, I feel like they're helping you with this, whatever you're holding on to. Right. Uh, but but for a lot of you, I think this this eight of hearts is connected to the five of clubs. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirits guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned? Okay. So, you got the King of Swords here. Now, the King of Swords uh, sometimes can be uh, seem cool, cruel, you know, cold and detached, you know, and uncaring, okay? Um but he is there to help you find common ground with other people or in this case common ground with yourself you know and and what you're holding on to and what you need to broaden your horizon on and i feel like this person is this king of men uh so this king of men might feel a little bit cold and uncaring but they really aren't so what you're looking for is a fatherly figure now, of course, you know, with some fatherly figures, they're so blunt and so straight to the point that they would come off as cold and, and callous and, and uncaring. But this person does care. They want to see the best for you. And I feel like this is the fatherly figure. I think they're the same person. Again, this doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman as well. Uh, but this person just wants you to find uh, common ground with whatever this is, whatever you're holding on to. They want you to find some sort of way to let go of that and move forward um, and broadening your eyes and going through that negativity so you can bring on that adventure and change. And yes, it might come in the form of a little bit of harshness. It might be a little harsh. You know, uh, that's why it's painful. That's why it's negative, uh, because the guidance is going to be harsh. It's it's going against uh, whatever you've been holding on to, whatever you've been thinking, you know, how the way you've been processing stuff, it's going to go against that. OK, so it will be harsh. OK, but the thing is, you got the three of clubs here, right? So the three of clubs guarantees that this will be successful. You will take on this this harsh reality and go through the pain, go through the uh, negativity and come out the end with fame, fortune, absolute success. You will have fame, fortune, absolute success. OK, it will turn out really good with new adventure and new change in your life. So when somebody gives it to you straight and gives it to you hard, 
Really think about it. Really think about it. So there you go. I hope this resonates. I hope it helps in some way. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.